Hello everybody and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's Tat Reading. Welcome to your weekend love messages. I will be starting with the absolutely amazing and gorgeous Capricorn. So Capricorn, I'll be pay taking three cards for your love messages. So let's get started. Just shuffling the cards. Excellent. Let's start. So Capricorn, your three love messages cards are... Let's have a look. Oh, we have one. Two. Too much. Three. Excellent. So we have... Page of Swords, Ten of Wands, followed by the Six of Wands. Excellent, too. So, Capricorn, this is all about the Page of Swords. It's all about messages, too. But it's also the spying card. Not many people know this, but the Page of Swords is someone spying on you, too. This could be through social media, too, looking at your profile, looking at your post and your Instagram photos, too. So there is some form of online attractiveness going on too. You also have the 10 of wands too. Capricorn, even though you may be tired too, exhausted too, do not give up too. Start dropping these wands too. Start to drop things that are making you stressed. Start to make room for you, Capricorn. Then you also have, this is even better, the six of wands. This is victory too. Winning celebrations people clapping for you too so again when it comes to love love will be victorious capricorn you will come out winning too despite the challenges that you may face with love too or with others trying to meddle whatever it is you will come out winning too it didn't happen overnight it may have taken a couple of battles too along the way but in the end, you come out winning the war too. So congratulations, Capricorn. Thank you, Capricorn, for your um, for tuning in too. And I wish you a beautiful weekend. Hello to my gorgeous Aries. Let's get started with your love messages, your bonus reading for the weekend. So let's get three cards out, please. What are Aries' love messages for the weekend, please? Three messages. One, two, three, four. I will take that. They want to say more. That's fine. That's cool. So we do have Aries, the Emperor. Excellent. King of Cups. Excellent. What else do we have? Oh, three of Cups. Wow. Six of Pentacles. Go Aries. This is excellent. So Aries, this is actually represented as you. The Emperor is all the kings wrapped up in one. And traditional tarot shows the Emperor wearing an armor, a soldier's armor. So Aries, the big message here is now is the time to take action. Now is the time to lead. It's all about leadership here. You see something that you want, you go for it, Aries, too. It's time to take action here, too. So again, when it comes to love, yes, go for it, Aries too. Take risks, take chances too, because someone's going to take a chance on you. You also have the King of Cups. I can see someone, someone of a water sign presenting you their cup. There's like flirting messages, asking you out. It could be face to face, yes, too. But be open to new things. Keep an open mind. You also have the Three of Cups, celebrations, engagements, weddings, Whatever party you get invited to, Aries, whatever gathering, go for it. Go for it. You, you must go. Because sometimes going out to events, it can lead to something. It could lead to someone watching you, going up to you and offering their cup. You also have the six of pentacles. The six of pentacles is also about equal give and take. Make time for yourself, Aries, and make time for love too. Don't just put it aside or I'll make time for it later. No, it's all about equal give and take too. Make time for yourself, for love, but you have to do it too. Overall, Aries, excellent cards. I wish you a fabulous weekend and I will see you next time. Ciao, ciao. 
Hello Gemini and welcome to your bonus weekend reading. Just shuffling the cards for you. So we're going to take out three cards for your weekend love message reading please. So three cards please for Gemini. What are the three cards for Gemini? We're going to let the cards jump out today. One. Oh, too much. I get it. They want to jump out. Two. One more, please. Three. So what do we have? Gemini energy. The lovers. Beautiful. Go Gemini. Wow. Eight of wands. Also have... Yep, the seven of wands too. So again, Gemini, this is represented by Gemini energy. This is a beautiful card. So again, the lovers represents being the ultimate team, loving yourself too. Also, Gemini is really thinking about how you feel about yourself too, before getting with someone else too. So be open to love, be open to loving yourself too. Have your eyes and ears open because the thing is, this is a very strong and powerful card. And it's when attraction, likes becomes like. You, you start to give out your energy and you start attracting people. So make sure you have this beautiful and wonderful attraction and vibration that you're emitting here too. It's very important. There is excellent news coming your way too because this is the minor account of the chariot. Very fast. Lots of excellent messages coming your way too. Could be messages from overseas too. So again, if there could be a long distance relationship starting out. Doesn't matter what it could be, but it is beautiful. This is beautiful. Excellent messages too. So there could be some form of connection with social media, people adding you to their friends, people watching your uh, photos on Instagram too. But again, this can lead to this too some form of communication you also have the seven of wands too standing up for yourself too so gemini too i will say this though there could be others perhaps not happy for you too there could be others not wishing you well too and you're constantly defending yourself constantly saying hey back off too always protect what is yours gemini don't let anybody meddling with your love life don't let anybody intrude into your love life protect what is yours too because there may be some jealous people around you too jealous of what you have too jealous of what you're doing because remember gemini you're an air sign you do not procrastinate you go full force you get what you want this is what i love about you too gemini it's actually quite admiring too so again Gemini, excellent news coming your way, but also protect what is yours too. You know, don't let others get involved in your life or try to find out about things about you too. So protect what is yours. Do not give vague answers if you need to to certain people, remember. But yes, this is beautiful, Gemini. Thank you, Gemini, and have a great weekend. Hello, Leo, and welcome to your bonus weekend love reading. So let's find out what are Leo's extra messages in terms for love. So three cards, please. Okay, too many. Okay, one. Two. Three. Excellent. So Leo, we do have the Ace of Cups. Excellent. With... The magician, beautiful, and the six of pentacles. So Leo, <laughs> when it comes to love, this is beautiful. The ace of cups promises brand new beginnings when it comes to love too. The ace of cups could be within the next full moon or the next month. Keep your eyes and ears open. Even for couples or singles, it doesn't really matter. A brand new beginning for passion, flirtiness too. Butterflies in your stomach, just true happiness too feeling really happy you know when you feel it in your gut and you just feel absolutely wonderful too and also leo this is gemini and virgo energy you have the power to manifest anything you're like magic you've got gold in your hands too you have the, all the resources at your disposal too so what i'm trying to say is ask what 
what you want from the universe and you shall receive too. It all comes down to your thinking too. What are you projecting into the world and into the universe too? Very important. So keep your positive thoughts extremely elevated too. And not just that too. When it comes to love, you also have magic when it comes to love too. Able to create passion, able to do literally anything when it comes to love. And it's also about give or take too. Not too little, not too much too. Think about balance too. When it comes to love, it's not just one person, a one man's job. It, it, it's two people coming together too. It's about compromising too. It's about solutions, working things out too. Leo, if you feel that you're doing way too much into the relationship, now is the time to come together and work things out too. Because if the scales are not balanced, then something's not working out here too. So remember, there needs to be equal give and take. Someone, both, both parties that have come together have to work as a team here. So remember, if you do need to talk, if you need to clear the air, now is the time to do it. Because we also have the magician and the ace of cups. There's a beautiful brand new beginning happening right here. Thank you, Leo. I wish you the best of luck and have a great week. Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your bonus weekend love reading. I'll be taking out three cards to find out your extra messages. So let's get started Sagittarius. Let's have look for three cards please. One. Two. And three. Excellent. So we have the nine of wands, page of wands, and the king of cups. Beautiful. So for some, I get it. You may be a little bit tired, a little bit exhausted too, a little bit over love, I'm going to say. Perhaps for some, you're ready to throw in the towel, whether it's singles or couples too, whether you're facing even challenging times. Now is not the time to give up. Now is not the time to throw in the towel. Also, the big message here is to lower your walls. Let people in too. Whatever difficult situation you may have experienced in the past, especially with relationships, do not bring it into the present moment or into the future too, because it can affect things absolutely too. So lower your walls. Don't keep certain people at an arm's length, Sagittarius. It's okay to let people in too. And we also have the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is beautiful messages too. Love messages. It could be exchanges through Facebook, Instagram, uh, emails too. But this is beautiful. It's not as big as the Knights, but these are small messages too. And it could probably be someone like the King of Cups here, the King of Cups, someone offering to you, Sagittarius, their cup. This person could be in a, uh, in a position, a business owner too. This person can be in the health industry too. This person has their emotions in check, but they mean well, and you can definitely trust this person too. So overall, Sagittarius, the big message here, don't give up. It will be okay. Things are going to improve with messages too. Start having more fun try new things because there's definitely some there's a king here offering a brand new start here this is excellent thank you Sagittarius I'll see you next time hello Taurus and welcome to your bonus love three card reading hope you're all doing amazing so let's get your three love message cards please so let's have a look what are the th messages for Taurus please okay one Two. Too much. And three. No, there's an extra card here, but I will take it. So we do have the five of pentacles. The knight of pentacles. Three of cups. This is already telling a story. Wow. And the king of pentacles. For some... The Five of Pentacles, when it comes to love, this is the card of rejection. Rejection, being left out in the cold, ghosted, blocked. Someone acting a little bit immature, a little bit 
selfish towards you, Taurus. This is someone that has completely mistreated you, actually. Just left you out, too. However, though, this good news coming your way because you also have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles comes with a solid offer. You can definitely trust this person. This person means well, and this person wants to invest their time with you. They want to build something with you. This does require patience, though, because it is a solace moving night. But this person, try to imagine, this person wants the whole package. The house, marriage, everything. Everything you can imagine, too. And there's going to be lots of celebrations, absolutely. The Three of Cups represents weddings, engagements, parties. So I will say this, when it comes to timing, we need to be very, very flexible, especially with the Knight of Pentacles, because it does, it does kind of mean within the year too. So if you do get invited, Taurus, to parties, events, whatever it is, make sure you go. Because I feel, Taurus, that... You also have the king of pentacles too. I'm getting two messages here. First of all, there could be someone looking at you first. Someone finding you extremely attractive. Someone coming in and making the move too. Or it could be both of you just looking at each other too. Because remember, you're represented as quite the leader, Taurus too. You take action too. But you're very gentle at the same time. Very respectful too. So I do feel whoever... There is definitely someone here, absolutely. I think this person is going to catch your eye and magic is going to happen too. Love is going to happen. That's what's going to happen. It's like two people coming together as one team. And this person doesn't come with an agenda or something weird or suspicious or with baggage or something you need to worry about. Absolutely not. This person you can definitely trust. So see this as a blessing because there's something else better waiting for you. There's happiness somewhere else. Thank you, Taurus, and I'll see you at the next reading. Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to your bonus weekend love reading. I'll be taking out three cards for your three messages. I hope you're all doing absolutely amazing. But let's have a look at what are your three love messages. I'll shuffle the cards again, and let's get started. Three cards, please, for Scorpio. One. Ooh, too much. Two. Three. Excellent. Oh, there's four, but I'll take that. That's fine. So we do have the Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands. What do we have here? Hmm. The Queen of Cups. Beautiful. And the two of cups excellent scorpio wow i will say you also have the queen of pentacles so the queen of pentacles someone very generous someone in a high position too someone's very generous scorpio you have excellent traits when it comes to career when it comes to money and with love too you are quite a leader too i'm going to say but you're also very gentle too you come with a solid offer too when you come into any relationship you don't come with an agenda you come with truth you don't come with any bs too this is what i absolutely love about you and because of your beautiful nature sometimes it has worked and it hasn't worked because not everybody is like you you're quite unique and because there has perhaps been some challenging past relationships it's left you a bit exhausted too unfortunately with the winded soldier the Winded Soldier is someone that's very tired. It's someone that is perhaps ready to throw in the towel too. And I get it. I absolutely understand Scorpio. However, the big message here is to not to give up. Do not give up, please, because I'm going to get to this. This is beautiful. Don't give up. And also, you're a bit defensive too. Bring down your walls. Lower your shoulders. Don't keep people at an arm's length. Bring people into your life. Why? because you also have, well, these two come together. You have the Queen of Cups and the Two of Cups. Notice that the Queen of Cups, her cup is covered here. You don't just offer your cup to anyone. It's okay to be picky too. 
I think that's a great thing. You want to be someone, you want to be with someone that gets you. You want to be with someone that is in it for the long run too. Not just someone that comes and goes. No, you mean serious business, Scorpio, and you're going to get it with the two of cups. This is the cup, the card of true love in its purest form. Someone that matches and mirrors you. This is someone that is the ultimate team. Two people coming into one here. You can be really yourself with this person. Not just that, share your insecurities, share your secrets. You don't have to hide anything. Also, Scorpio, you don't have to be defensive. You can actually share all your, all your secrets and really truly be yourself. Because yes, even though there have been some challenges, you can still move on. You can still live and be yourself too. Don't change for anyone. I know you wouldn't do that, Scorpio, but you can honestly and truly be yourself and live the life that you truly want. There is absolutely true love for you too, but do not let past relationships, especially challenging, challenging ones, come into the present moment and into the future. You've got something beautiful to look forward to, Scorpio. Absolutely amazing. Thank you, Scorpio, and have an amazing weekend. Hello, Cancer, and welcome to your bonus weekend love messages here. I hope you're all doing amazing, Cancer. So I'll be taking our three cards to look at your three love messages. So let's begin. So what are your three love messages, please? One. Two. And three. Excellent. So we do have the Knight of Cups. Five of Pentacles <clears throat> and the Knight of Wands. How interesting. So Cancer, I can already tell you there's more than one person that wants your attention. See, with the Knight of Cups here, the Knight of Cups is the second slowest. You've got the second slowest moving Knight, but then the second fastest moving Knight here. Now, the Knight of Cups here is someone that does have their emotions in check here. This person is very gentle. They may be very strategic how they approach you too. Because like I said, the second fastest. So they will be very strategic how to approach you, how to talk to you. Because both these knights are watching you, Cancer. And they both want your attention too. So we have this knight offering you this cup. I'm going to skip this for now. I will get back to it because there's a reason. Then you also have this Knight of Wands, the second fastest. This Knight is not going to think about how to come up to you or how to approach you. They're just going to go for it because they take action too, very quick. And it is a call to action. They do expect a response in the moment too. Not later, not in a few hours. No, this person wants an answer right here and there. So what I'm going to say, then you also have the five of pentacles. Yes, Cancer, you will be rejecting either this night or this night. You're going to make a heartfelt decision because there's two people fighting for you, which is not bad, I'm going to say. Um, I don't see this often, but there's definitely two people fighting for you too. They find you attractive too. They want to be with you too. And there's lots of passion here too. Lots of butterflies in your stomach. So Cancer, when it comes to decision making here, you need to make a decision from your heart here. Now, this one can come as across a little bit too flirty, a little bit too confident. Well, this night can come a little bit more uh, respectful, I'm going to use. So you've got more respectful and more of a flirty energy here. It will come down to your decision, Cancer, what you wish to do. But you will not make the wrong decision. You will make the right decision because deep down in your heart, you know what you have to do. Thank you, Cancer, and I will see you at the next reading. Hello, Pisces, and welcome to your bonus weekend love reading. I'll be taking our three cards to look at your three love messages. So let's get started. Hope you're all doing amazing. Thank you, Pisces, and let's get started. So number one. Two.
One more. Almost there, Pisces. This one wants to come out. Three. So we have five of cups. The world. Nine of pentacles. <laughs> Excellent. So for some, there has been some form of heartbreak. Some form of challenge rejection too things did not work out even though pisces i know you probably put in a hundred and ten percent into a situation it still didn't work out so there's a bit of sadness a little bit of anger too shame you can clearly see how the cups at the front are tipped over however pisces wait a second you've got two cups behind you there is happiness somewhere else you just need to turn around and open your eyes this is not the end. It's just the beginning. Why? Because you have the world. The world is a fantastic omen. Congratulations. It's also a major arcana. You're going to start a brand new cycle. You're going to leave behind old attitudes, old beliefs, old behaviors, old situations, circumstances, people, whatever it is. And you're going to start a brand new cycle. You're going to resurrect as a brand new person. When this happens, well, there's opportunities too. Things are going to go more smoothly too with the Nine of Pentacles. With the Nine of Pentacles, what I love about this card, even if you are separated, divorced, single, it doesn't matter. This card shows me that you've got your stuff together. You are enjoying your independence. You are enjoying just being you. In fact, I'm going to say, Pisces, it's excellent to be you. You're not, for some, maybe alone. But you're not lonely. There's, there's a big difference being alone and being lonely. If anything, you are enjoying your company here. You are enjoying yourself here. You may be even splurging a bit too, buying yourself something, rewarding yourself something, maybe perhaps doing a bit of online shop, shopping. Even with this too, I could keep pulling out more cards and I can probably, most likely, most likely what can come out from this, that even though there has been disappointment and you've decided to start a new cycle. It leaves room, open doors for new romances, for new beginnings, for something excellent to start. Now, even if this, don't forget also with the world, it can show that old relationships can heal and a new cycle start. Not necessarily has to be a complete um, breakup too. This shows new cycles for singles and for couples too. This is excellent. And just really enjoying your own company, enjoying your, yourself, the individualness of yourself too, the essence of you too. Pisces, excellent. Thank you, Pisces, and have a great weekend. Hello, Libra, and welcome to your bonus weekend love reading. I'll be pulling out three cards for you to have a look at your three love messages. So let's get started. Let's find out what are Libra's love messages. Three cards, please. One, Oops. two, oh. too much. Excellent. So we have Eight of Swords, Four of Cups, and the Queen of Wands, too. So for some, the Eight of Swords is being a little bit stuck in your head. This is a very mental card, too. Feeling trapped, imprisoned, feeling that nothing's ever going to change, too, which is actually a lie. You can clearly see that none of the swords are touching this person and this person can remove their blindfold. They're just stuck in their own egotism. They are stuck with their own negative thoughts here. So when we are stuck with our own thoughts, well, that is the result that we're going to get. Absolutely nothing. We need to start thinking outside the box here, weigh out our options. What are our choices here too? Just like the four of cups here, feeling a little bit bored, Bored with life too. There's no energy. There's no fire. I will say this. 
The universe is presenting this person with this cup here. And this cup is going to ignite the fire within you. It's going to bring butterflies to your stomach. You're going to start feeling more alive now. And we also have the queen of wands here. The queen of wands is all about taking action here. So Libra, if you do get invited to events, if you are invited, not just events to, um, gatherings to, with friends, start to go out too. Because you can't just stay where you are. No. The universe, yes, it's going to present you with this cup, but it's going to require you to take action like the Queen of Wands. It's going to require you to get out there too. And it's going to change something because this is an excellent opportunity right here. And the universe doesn't want you to miss out on this opportunity. So my advice is keep your eyes and ears open. If things pop up, events through social media, co-workers, go. Also try something new. Try new hobbies. Get out there because... When you get yourself out there, it leads to something, Libra. It leads to opportunities, doors opening, and people noticing you too. Excellent. Thank you, Libra, and have a great weekend. Hello, Virgo, and welcome to your bonus love reading weekend. I hope you're all doing amazing. I'll be pulling out three cards to find out your three love messages. So let's get started, Virgo. Let's have a look at your three love messages, please. one two three excellent so we do have yes the three of wands temperance wow and the eight of wands beautiful so Virgo, the three of wands is all about having patience. There is something coming towards you, absolutely, because many argue, is the ship arriving or is it leaving? No, your ship is definitely coming. There's something coming towards you. I feel like it could be messages too, through emails. It could be so through social media, but I'm picking up more through emails too. So please check your spam, your junk mail too. There's some form of communication coming your way. It, it's The reason why it's taking long, because people... I, can't, I know they're busy, we're, we're getting more towards the end of the year, people are busy, but you're going to get some form of message too. It's a very good message. Something to do with love. It's something, for some reason, it's also tied to overseas too. Then you also have temperance. Temperance is all about balance too. Making the time for yourself, making time for love too. What else can you do, Virgo, to make time for love? What could change here? What are your options too? Remember that I get it that we also need to work, we need to um, pay bills too, but also make room for yourself to pamper yourself and make room to go out and to find love too. This is an excellent card. It's finding the right balance. It's about balancing the, the body and the mental health. This is excellent, this card too. But you also have the minor arcana of the chariot too, with the eight of wands. This is really good news coming your way. It's actually quite fast. This is going to speed up the process with the three of wands. Love messages coming your way. This is going to really excite you too, Virgo. You're going to feel excitement, butterflies in your stomach, passion too. So it could be perhaps for some a long distance relationship, but it's worth it too. Absolutely. Things are going to spark. Sparks are going to be ignited too. And I could see you could probably be traveling too to, to meet this person or this person could be traveling to meet you. Other than that, this is a fantastic reading. Thank you, Virgo. I hope you have a great weekend. Hello Aquarius and welcome to your bonus weekend reading. I'll be taking out three cards to look at your three love messages. Aquarius, I hope you're all doing amazing. Thank you so much for joining me and let's get started please. Three cards please for Aquarius. One. This one wants to come out. Three. Excellent. So we have Page of Swords. Justice. 
Three of Swords. Okay. So the Page of Swords is the messages, but also the spying card. There could be someone watching you online, looking at your posts, looking at your, perhaps your Facebook profile. Could be Instagram too. I'm picking up TikTok for some reason. I don't know why TikTok is coming here. Someone looking at your TikTok videos a lot, actually. So yes, like I said before, messages, spying card. There could be messages coming back and forth, but this is more of a spying card too. Now again, justice is about balance too. Finding balance between work and love, making room for love and work. But this is also, not many people know this, justice is also about karma too. I don't want to be in anyone's shoes that have done you wrong, Aquarius, because karma is never too early and never too late too. This is also about dealing with lawyers too, dealing with, um, uh, it can be, for example, separations, divorce, spousal support. Justice always does promise because on its own, it is a positive card. Things will be paid equally to whatever, if you are going through that at the moment, whether it's separation or divorce, this will go equally. Things will be paid equally, equal give and take too, not too little and not too much. But for others too, maybe feeling the heartbreak with the Three of Swords too. The Three of Swords does show when there is a third party intrusion. There could be someone like, for example, in-laws, friends, co-workers, someone that you don't know that could be intruding into your love life and causing heartache too. This is unfortunate when I do see this because unfortunately it's people meddling in too and the other person, the other partner, allowing this sort of behavior. So I know Aquarius, you will not stand for this too, but it doesn't come with its own pain too, which I totally understand. So what you can do with the Three of Swords, this is just temporary. It will not last too. You will be able to move on from this. You will be able to carry on because I feel though that there is happiness somewhere else for you, Aquarius. Remember, there is a difference how you feel about someone, but how the other person makes you feel. If they are not equal, then those are already your red flags. You deserve happiness, Aquarius. Absolutely. Thank you, Aquarius. And I wish you the best of luck and have a great weekend.